Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, welcome back to, uh, there we go, <laughs> to my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for October. Uh, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. This section is really for those that, you know, just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on uh, camera. Okay, uh, so if you click in the description bar below, you see where it says start reading, click on that and uh, that will bring you to the start of the reading. Okay. As I like to say, guys, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, so I'm just going to take these in, possibly if I need to clarify any, um, I'll do that offline, oh, offline, off camera. Um, all right, so I'm just going to take these in and I'll be back. All right, so Scorpio, let's start your reading. All right. Um, all right, I'm going to start by saying that we've got the Ten of Pentacles, which talks about, you know, fulfillment on a tangible level. So when we're talking about fulfillment on a tangible level, we're talking about, you know, just things that are going well for you in terms of the physical, the physicality, nothing re emotional related. So it seems like at one point, you know, this was going good in terms of just how you saw things. You know, things is, um, this is someone that you want to build with, ultimately with the Ace of Pentacles there. Things were going good, things, you know, this is someone that you want to build with. Um, I would say there's even a sense of already kind of building with this person. For some of you, not sure about the steps that have been taken already in terms of just building with this person, but definitely an element of building with this person. Your person kind of wasn't quite sure with the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles talks about making a choice about something. So there was a choice that this person feels or thought or thinks that they had to make and this is kind of just maybe the recent past but a choice that they had to make but it's going against or it's it's they're marking it up against what they've already done so it seems like they feel like there's been some form of work that's already been being put in this I'm not sure the time or how long you guys have been interacting but it seems like for them it's like I've already kind of put in work in this and it's not manifested or it's not turned into fully what it is that I want. There's some things that are not uh, hitting home for them, which is indicative of how they're showing up, which is the seven of wands. They're standing firm on something that they believe. So there's something that they maybe not, maybe are not in agreement with, or um, this talks about them standing on their principles or their values something that they that means a lot to them uh, and they're not kind of budging on that where for you it's like totally different in terms of just how you thought this was going for you it was going like i said this ten of pentacles and the ace of pentacles which talks about building things are going well for you because of their stance it seems like you guys are in a, a funny space a funny space and you're not really appreciating where you're at at the moment there's love there with that ace of cups there i will pull on that though but you are finding the situation quite challenging with that nine. The nine talks about, you know, yes, still being in something or sticking with something, but, you know, facing the knocks and a few bumps, um, a few, uh, that may be an understatement for some of you, but there's challenges there, regardless of, of um, yeah, there's challenges there. You're finding this quite challenging. Again, like I said, it's more about you thinking one way, you feel feeling like, this relationship is progressing nicely but it's not they're not thinking the same that's pretty much what that is they've got the eight of cups there so you might have felt this person maybe distancing their self emotionally um, from you but what they're really seeking is that ninth cup when we're talking about the eight of cups we're talking about walking away from something that or walking towards something so it's either or um, walking away from something that is either left unsaid or not working out towards the ninth cup, which is emotional happiness. This person is seeking happiness, emotional happiness. That's what the ninth cup uh, represents. There's something around the birthing of something, though. 
we've got the Empress card. I'm going to pull on that. I feel like it's to do with it's, it's the creation of something. The creation of something. Let me pull on that. I'm not sure what that's relating to. Because it has to do with what it is. It ties into it ties into this. I'm not sure whether this is maybe a, a vision that they've expressed to you that they are moving towards or that they want. That vision could be a kid's a baby. That vision could be a different lifestyle or business, whatever the case may be. But definitely some form of creation. And I feel like that plays, I feel like that's really important to this. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Do you know what? This person, there we go. This person feels like there's going to be some form of jeopardizing of this thing. I think you're fully aware of what it is that they're wanting. There's some form of birthing of something that they're wanting. And they just feel like, just based on how things are, how things have been, that it could jeopardize. We've got the Three of Swords there, which talks about, sometimes that represents fear, uh, but that talks about heartbreak, you know, pain, and then we've got the Strength card there. So they've got this idea that it's going to jeopardize this thing that they want, that they ultimately want. Um, we do have that Page of Cups, so there's going to be a small offering, or they, they still want to maybe I feel like that's more about maybe communication or just maybe keeping in touch with you this is maybe someone that you've known for a while as well I feel like for some of you this could be a relationship that's been going for a while with that six of cups there. I didn't really connect that before but that could be the case hence why yeah uh, hmm. for you like I said emotions have already been developed we've got the ace of cups there but we do have that devil card there, which talks about attachment, um, obsessiveness. Um, but we're talking about the devil card. You know, I don't think Scorpio is um, unfamiliar with this type of energy. It could be very possessive, uh, obsessive. It's a bit of a toxic energy. The only thing is, is you're trying to maintain that or you want to consciously maintain that. It's like you want to, I want to say maintain it. I mean, keep it in, hold it. Um, yeah how do i put that hold it contain it there we go <laughs> contain it you wanting to contain that it's like it's bubbling but it, you wanting to contain that it's not a uh, you recognize on some level that it's not a, a trait that you want to bring out in this because i feel like for a lot of you you know where that can go you've had experience with that type of energy before um and ultimately you, you you love this person or there's definitely an offering of of love there i want to go back to this person because i feel like it's important to see what is going on in terms of why they're choosing to it's more about i tell you what okay so this vision that they have and i'm going to put it as plain as simple as i can um, this vision that they have is important to them. Whatever it is that they want to attain, achieve, they're working towards, I feel like they've sh shared that with you. Uh, I feel like a lot of you are privy to that. The thing is, is, is they are not sure or they feel for some reason that they're not able to uh, attain that with maybe you. And when I say attain that with you, I feel like there has been, there's definitely been experience here in terms of just you, I'm going to pull on that seven as well, in terms of you both, you know, yeah, of course, experiencing each other, but I feel like this person feels they've gathered enough, yeah, do you see that? We've got the four of wands there that talks about a foundation that's already been laid, so, and that's on top of that seven. You know, you put work into something, but you're not seeing it. Uh, materialize in the way that you'd like uh, you had hope but it's not kind of coming into fruition that's what that seven is kind of representing for them and that's what's going on that's what's stopping them so I'm not sure whether you've communicated with this person I'm not sure whether you've had those deep introspect introspective communication where you're expressing your thoughts and your feelings and they're doing the same so there's this understanding regarding what is going on here and what they feel they need. Um, I'm going to say this though before we wrap up. 
it is important to them. Like it really is important to them. This person is standing on, you know, standing on their, standing ten toes, or whatever, you know, that saying is. They're standing their ground when it comes to this. I feel like for you, it's more about working around what is it that's making them feel like you're not able to contribute, build, work together, maintain and stay in this relationship or flourish within this relationship. That's what you need to get the get to the bottom of. Um, I'm, I'm not, yeah, yeah. I don't want to keep picking from this, you know, when you're trying to get more information without me clarifying any more cards. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what it is, Scorpio. This person feels like it's not going to work based on what it is that they want, whatever that is representing. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. I want to pull on this before I wrap up. Give me a second. The silver lining is that they still want to maintain some form of... Um, relationship or uh, it's like it's not like a cut you off type of thing it's like I still want to maintain some form of maybe friendship or whatever the case may be yeah do you see that because there's chemistry just make sure this person doesn't want to set up a friends with benefit type of situation uh Scorpio <laughs> as much as you might be on board for that with that um I don't think that would be a wise choice because it might because we've got the lovers card there so there's a lot of chemistry there that they have towards you um there's attraction there but you don't want to get caught up in false hopes, ultimately. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Um, I will be implementing the part twos at a later date, guys. So just bear with me when it comes to that. Um, and also the singles readings are going to be out this month as well. So ha hopefully you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Bye.